This is Andy Peel for Boxing News. I'm joined by promoter Eddie Hearn here in Saudi Arabia. Eddie, how you doing? I'm doing great. I mean, it's quite surreal, wasn't it? Looking around and seeing, I don't know, 60 screens with me and Frank Warren's mugs on. And um, I can't wait for Saturday, honestly. Like, I've been thinking about this a long time. And not just the fights, not just the rivalry, but the concept. You know, that team concept of two teams with points and that running total with a graphic going throughout the night, the double points for the captaincy, and probably Deontay Wilder needing to win by stoppage to make sure we're 100% safe. And that's why one of the reasons I picked him as the captain. And I'm going to do you a favour here. All those times you gave us for prediction videos, um, given what you're currently wearing, Boxing News launched 1909 recently at our own clothing brand, a, a mixture of street and luxury sportswear. Okay. This is for you? I mean, street, street and luxury um, sportswear is right up my street. Yeah. This is, looks very nice. Okay, very nice. Just for you, a little... Might, might, little might have a little wear of that tomorrow? I'd hope so. I'm, I'm a Williams was... Rocket sales as well for you? Always, always. Yes. I know. Emma Williams was rocking his up on the stage as well. So. There you go. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Um, Eddie, but yeah, here we are. Five versus five. Is this the most important fight week you've taken place in your career? The most excited, exciting fight weeks I've ever been a part of. I mean, I'm just, like, it's different, you know, obviously, the three guys particularly that we're very close with, with Craig, with Ray, with Ammo, I'm so excited for them to be part of something like this. For Philip, you know, a chance to actually cement himself as an elite heavyweight. For Deontay, you know, a one night only deal for us and I'm enjoying it, you know, I'm enjoying getting behind him, pumping, pumping him up and making him understand and believe that this is a bad motherfucker and that's what he is. And you know, Zile Zhang was giving it the big one up there, said, said a few things about me and I'm going to look forward to Wilder knocking him out on Saturday night and I really believe he will. Which fight are you most looking forward to? I get that question non-stop Andy and your light's gone out and I just don't know the answer, like every single fight is compelling. I mean, even the first fight of the night, by the way, Craig Richards and, and um, Willie Hutchinson nearly went off backstage, nearly went off up there. Ammo against Shiraz is breathtaking. Nick Nick Ball against Ray is just a brilliant, brilliant fight. Hergovic did what, like every single fight, but you know, Wilder Zhang is compelling because those two can turn your lights off at any moment. How important is success for you on Saturday night, given the rivalry Frank mentioned on stage, 50 years it runs yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, look, you don't want to get on that plane on Sunday having got beat, you know, because there will be another one of these, but you will not hear the end of it until the next one. And that's not something I'm prepared to, to accept. So we must win on Saturday night. Which fight would you say has got the most pressure on their, on their back? Maybe Deontay Wilder. I mean, you know, if he loses, he's probably done. Same with Zhang, to be fair. But, you know, Ray's got his world championship belt on the line. Craig Richards might be fighting for his career. Like, there's pressure on everybody. But, yeah, Wilder definitely, the, the eyes of the world will be watching. I want to ask you about Anthony Joshua, bring him into the equation. Obviously, we know Teke Alashek has mentioned September for Anthony Joshua. Dubois Hergovic winner. I spoke to Dubois yesterday. He's very up for that. What would you make of a Joshua Dubois fight? He's up for it. You know, I mean, it's a massive opportunity in that fight. And there's a very good chance that AJ's next opponent will be coming from the winner of that fight. So we'll have to see what happens on Saturday. But obviously, we're planning with His Excellency AJ's next move. And it could well be September at Wembley. What fight would you say bigger, Joshua Hergovic or Joshua Dubois? Depends what happens on Saturday. I mean, it could come through a war, Hergovic, knock him out. It's a massive fight. Two Brits for the world title, massive fight. So we'll have to see. Catchwell versus Taylor, just take me back to the weekend. Yeah. A very close fight in the end, but Jack a deserved winner. Yeah, amazing fight. You know, Jack did so well. Um, times when Taylor just started to look like he was coming back in a fight and then Jack closed the show really well. Um, I, I felt like it would be a really good fight this time and it was. Great night for British boxing, great night for Matrim, for the zone. And uh, yeah, looking forward to um, what's next for Jack. He wants to stay active. I'm already planning his next fight with Sam Jones. Could, could be back as early as August. You said you're planning his next fight for Sam Jones. I've seen he's come out that he's a free agent now. What can you tell me? Yeah, but his deal was up. That was his last fight. And now we're talking about the next steps. We've done a great job with him. We had three fight deal and that was Foley. Um, Daryl Foley, Jorge Linares and then Josh Taylor. So working on the next one for with Sam. And as I said, he wants to fight twice this year. It's difficult to do, but I believe we can do it. He mentioned on Twitter, Ryan Garcia, Tifi Lopez. Do you think either of those fights could be made? Uh, I mean, Ryan Garcia is not going to box for some time. But one day, maybe, yeah. What about Tiffany Lopez? Yeah, I mean, look, he's fighting Steve Claggett coming up. I mean, so he's not going to be ready till September, October, and, and Jack wants to make sure he fights before then. Bob Aaron with a little tirade at the end of that yeah, night. I think it's good for boxing, you know. Bob's 93. I mean, blimey. 
I didn't even know he was in the ring. I just heard, give me that. And I just sort of passed it to him and he kind of hung himself in the process. But it was still amusing. I mean, it still went viral. Great for the show, great for the night. And I, I do agree with him that 117, 111 was wide. Some people felt that was a good scorecard. But for me, it was a little bit wide. Canelo Alvarez, William score purse bids have been scheduled for June 6th. Do you expect him to vacate? Yeah, uh, yeah. or agree a deal with William Skull, or if that's his name. You know, I think, um, look, sometimes you, you people feel that fighters shouldn't have to vacate their belt, but sometimes people have earned the right to fight for the world title, so they've got to deal with it accordingly. Eddie, thank you for your time. Andy, thank you for your light. Thank you, boys. <laughs>